What's up, worship boy iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back today with another video, man. Before we get started with this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. We're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here, man. You see what's going on. On the box, it does say Nike Craft. Um, something very special today that I know a lot of people have been trying to see what the hype is all about, man. On the box right here, it also says Nike Craft. On the back of the box, it says, own less, do more. Um, then you have uh, Tom Satch and uh, General Purpose uh shoe so yeah man very 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 dope box the box is crazy uh box label reads general purpose shoe colorway is light cream white light bone cream claire os claire and blanc sizing on this shoe is a size 13 uh women's and 11 and a half men's i believe it was about 140 to 150 after tax shout out to og johnny for allowing me to do this review uh, just to show y'all the box label man real quick let me know in the comments, man, how y'all feel about the box itself. Let me know how you think about the quality of light. Let me know what y'all think about the microphone sound in the video, y'all. Just kind of trying to switch things up and keep making the quality better and better for y'all. So that is it for the actual box itself. Uh, we're going to flip the lid on the actual inside of the box. There is a lot number right here in the corner. Don't know if y'all can see that at all, but it is right here in the corner. And then also underneath the box, there is a message. Go ahead, I'm gonna give it a few seconds and then I'm gonna actually read that for y'all. Look at it, look at it, big long message. Just like how it was in the Sean Witherspoons and a few other sneaker boxes that we received in the past. Box lid does read, Nike Craft shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. The design and construction of Nike Craft art products support all the activities of your life and tell your story. Nike Craft shuns innovation for its own sake, but embraces it as a necessity. Top quality products fulfill their intended purposes while remaining as hard wearing as possible. Before recycling, there is reuse. Before reuse, there is durability. That's dope, man. And um, from my understanding, I believe that Tom Satch is one of those people that wants people to just wear the sneakers. Yeah, we, you know, we know about resale. We know about the Mars Yard 1.0 and 2.0 and the resale of that and how crazy that went. But um, from the message that I've always gotten from seeing his ads or his creations or anything Nike has done with them. It's all been about like wearing the shoe um, and testing the shoe and seeing how far you can go as far as durability and um, maintenance of the shoe after, you know, you wear it to the ground basically. But um, that's about it, man. The box does come with this white paper right here or like grayish tannish paper right here that does come in a box. And then you have that green sticker right here for anybody that's trying to do any legit checks that is it for the actual box. Now the shoes. Boom, we have it here, man. The general purpose shoe uh, by Tom Satch and Nike. Um, very, very plain and boring sneaker. Hence to the ad of boring uh, right here. I put the ad right here that he put up before he dropped. Very, very just plain sneaker, man, to be 1000% real. I believe if this shoe had dropped with no Tom Satch branding at all, this shoe wouldn't even be a topper right now. Let's just be 1000% honest with ourselves and 1000% honest with, uh, you know, everybody else in the world that may think that this shoe is like the craziest thing to ever drop. But it's very simple, man. The black bottom right here does have a, a, a waffle um, design sole. Um, shout out to Bill Bowerman, one of the uh, co-founders of Nike who played around with a waffle iron um, to be able to create, create this design uh for actual runners like this design at the bottom was actually meant for uh runners or track and field runners um you know just to kind of test out the actual creativity and to see if it will help runners on the track field so very dope design i know it also has that us patent right there in the middle and then right there it says nike craft at the bottom so just something i want y'all to see as well at the bottom of the shoe, work your way up to the midsole. The midsole is like a wood brown. That's just kind of something quick that I'm trying to say about it, but it's definitely like a, a brown um, caramelish color on the sole. It's very hefty. It's not like your um, it's not like your Jordan One or um, a blazer. It's it's pretty thick. It's a thick 
midsole, um, just just grabbing it and feeling it's very thick. Um, you get to the upper, you do have some hits of suede on the lower heel area and also on the toe cap area of the sneaker. And some right here on the side, on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker. Um, on the back, you also have some suede right up here and it does say Nike. So that's something to be looking forward to on a sneaker if you buy it. If you pay any resale, that's what you'll be looking forward to as far as quality. You do also have like some um, knitting, like some knit uh, upper areas of the shoe as well. And then you do have a swoosh on the lateral medial side and white. You get to the actual laces. The laces are cream or like a, like a, a, a tannish cream color right there. It doesn't come with any extra laces at all. So, you know, just be aware of that. If you're trying to buy this on the aftermarket, there is no extra laces. And this is how the shoe is supposed to come strung up and laced up. On the tongue itself as well, you do have that hit of Nike right here. You have a blue tab right here, blue pull tab on the back. So that's something to be aware of as well. Hopefully y'all can see that. Let me make sure I point out as well. A little hit of blue right here, which I like a little subtle hits on this sneaker is very, very nice. Um, you pull out the paper that's supposed to be a, what would you consider it? A shoe tree, a shoehorn, but you got these little plastic hits of paper right there. It does come with a blue insole that says Nike Craft. I'm going to ahead and pull this out right now. Right here, you have the blue insole and Nike Craft right here. No sizing tag on it, but again, it says Nike Craft right there. And for anybody that needs to see the inside of the sneaker this is how it looks on the inside there is like a lot number or stamp right here at the bottom and then the actual size and tag is right here on the side so again man very very simplistic shoe i don't see this shoe going for too much or being anything crazy on the aftermarket for too long especially with them announcing that there's going to be another release um crazy enough literally we were just looking at the resale yesterday me and johnny and um the resale was about 400 420 today is 350 so it's just crazy how quick things could change overnight man when it comes to the resale game and again man things are so pricey right now nobody nobody's really thinking about keeping this shoe and it's so plain and so boring uh back here on the back i don't know if y'all can see that but it does have uh tom satch right there on the back of the pull tab right there on the back of the um tongue says tom satch it is also like a see-through um kind of tongue as well it kind of like it's covered with some netting and then you have like the, the exposed area of the tongue like i say that same knit feeling of the upper of the sneaker very thin too it's very thin so y'all can see that right there very thin area you have some support in the back of the hill right here so i'm definitely i'm definitely sure that this is a good like walking around shoe just because of the the actual size of the sole and some little light cushion and then the light up upper on the sneaker but that's pretty much it man i don't want to hold the video up too much i want to hear from y'all what y'all think about the video let me know what y'all think about the lighting setup let me know what y'all think about the sound that i'm now trying hopefully when i get home and try to edit this joint it sounds great and good for y'all man because i just want to keep making everything good for the people that come visit me here at the channel so thank y'all man again for watching before y'all go y'all make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you stay in tune with the reviews the on feast the sneaker blind the sneaker news and everything else that comes with the channel i thank y'all for watching man the future belongs to those who prepare today till tomorrow y'all peace